I flicked through the channels until I found the one that drew my attention enough to pause. The Brooklyn Blazers played against the Hudson Valley Titans. It wasn't a game that would make any headlines unless something outrageous happened, and nothing ever did. But it was a big deal for those of us loyal to the Blazers. I fixed up the pillows behind me and leaned against it, bringing up the volume to better hear the commentators over the persistent splashing of water against the tiles in the bathroom. Megan sure did love a long shower. I lifted my arms and folded my hands behind my head, watching the game heat up. I couldn't catch the beginning, and, based on what was happening right now, I hadn't missed anything so important that warranted me rewinding it. So I settled in and gave the live stream my full attention. Brooks Dane had the ball, skillfully passing through the Titans' defenses until he was face to face with the goddamn Carter Colby, the enemy captain. I nearly cursed as Brooks lost the ball to the Titans, but held back. It annoyed Megan, and, if I knew anything in life, I knew she would fling the door open at the exact moment of my shouting obscenities at the screen. Ugh, that's so childish, she would say and wait for me to roll my eyes so she could proceed to tell me why the entirety of football was childish. Brooks Dane was the star of the Blazers. He was the only member of the team who'd won us any victories last year, even though he had the full support of the team. He was undoubtedly on the fast track to stardom, a thought that made me happier than I would have expected. The guy had it all. He was a great player, charming in interviews, and had those stunning looks that inevitably drew all the camera lenses in his direction. Even I found myself idly watching Brooks Dane on the field. There was a sort of electricity around him. He didn't shy away from lifting his t-shirt to wipe the sweat off his face whenever he had enough time to take his helmet off. He didn't worry about letting people see his steely abs and his sculpted backside after the game. My heart hammered, and I pulled my attention back to the game. It's just how they frame him, I told myself soothingly. They want you to see those bits. I wasn't the target audience, probably. Brooks had the skill that kept me a fan and the looks that attracted women to the sport. It was a winning combo. I grunted as my thoughts got away from me, then realized the water had stopped splashing against the tiles. I lowered the volume just in time. 